Hey guys and uh, welcome back to Akiva's Hair. And for this video, we're gonna be patterning my hair using pattern. I'm only gonna be using Patton's hair products. So yeah, stay tuned, watch to the end. Grand Rising, I get asked how I get my hair into this bun a lot. So I will show you. So firstly, we're gonna start off a little slow. I like to set the ambiance before I take a shower, light a candle, and we're gonna start getting ready. So we're only gonna be using Patton Beauty hair products. So this is my setup. I'll be using the Detangle Dulette. I'm pronouncing that wrong, I'm gonna show you the pronunciation. A Denman D4 styling brush, a large mist spray bottle, and finally, Silk Diversity's Silk Scrunchie. So firstly, when I start off with just rinsing my hair, my hair is extremely tangled, which you cannot see right now. So we're gonna firstly start off with Pattern Heavy Conditioner. Now this is quite thick, as you can see by the texture and we're just gonna be applying it into all of my hair, just going through every single strand. I'm not gonna be doing too much, I will be itching it out. I actually made a mistake here. I thought this was the shampoo. So you're gonna see me wash it out and then I did use a cleansing shampoo afterwards, which wasn't pattern, but I wanna just keep the video as pattern only. So as you can see, I'm just going to be putting it into my hair and I'm gonna be rinsing it out Water is your friend. I'm gonna be loosening it up. My hair is extremely tangled as you can see. Well, you probably can't, but it is. So yeah, we're gonna start off by applying the heavy conditioner again, but by sections. So I'm just gonna be applying it into sections of the hair, tying up the rest. And as long as I'm using my fingers and then using it between sections of part of my hair, it's safe. I'm not sure what your washing technique is, but this was what works for me. My hair is extremely elastic and bouncy and I've never changed my washing routine. So yeah, this works extremely well for me. If you've got a similar texture and you feel like our hair is very similar, the way it reacts and moves, definitely incorporate this washing technique. So I'm gonna speed it up, but I'm gonna be using the heavy conditioner mix with my fingers just to further finger detangle into the sections. They call this a rake method. So I'm just raking it into my fingers. Make sure your nails are cut. My nails were cut just before I started the video so that I'm not pulling out too much of the hair. So yeah, not too heavy. And then I do go underneath like so as well, just to make sure that there's no knots. So doing this method, it is easier for me, but it's still not fully detangled. So I still will be using a brush afterwards. Just wait and see. And then I will be doing the second half. I'm gonna be doing the exact same thing. And I may add a bit of water just to make it easier because the other side is a bit matted and dry. So I'm going to interlude to show you guys this part. My hair is now fully finger detangled using heavy conditioner. As you can see, it has a lot more life, but we're not done. Now we're gonna be going over with this brush. Now I really like this. This is the best thing since sliced bread for me. So as you can see, my hair is a little bit um, detangled already, but I just go over with this brush. It's similar, it's like a wide tooth comb and a massage brush built together. It does two things at the same time. So it's got the rubber tips that don't really hurt too much. And then it also has wide teeth, which allow lots of hair to pass through it without it feeling like you have a lot of drawback. Very, very impressed by the way. It does elongate pretty well. And I don't feel any stripping from this at all when I do my wash method. So extremely impressed. And this is gonna stay in my rotation. So as you can see, I'm gonna be completely elongating the curls using this Dutangle Duet. That's what I call it, but I think it's pronounced Dutangle Duet. Yeah, very, very impressed by the brush. And it also did come with this, which is like a pit comb so you can clean up the hair. Fantastic work, how can I complain? And then this is the amount of hair that I lose on my wash day, very minimal. Now time for the cool part. I am gonna be setting up to be using a deep conditioning cap for about 10 minutes, five, 10 minutes. So we're gonna be unleashing it now. 
So this is me after using it for about 10 minutes. This is what the curls look like. Very, very hydrated and bouncy. Now to the part that we're all waiting for. So I'm gonna be washing out my hair now. And as you can see, the curls are hydrated. This is no joke. Very, very impressed. I'm gonna interlude hair so I can show you guys the rest of this part without me speaking so much. And we're back. This is what shrinkage looks like in real time. Now I'm gonna be using this patterns hair gel. Now this is the more watery based version. This is not the hold, the max hold one. This just literally blends and glides through with my hair. And I'm gonna be speeding that up just to rake through my fingers with the gel. This is why I called it pattern in my hair. So yeah, it's no joke, especially for my hair texture. I find the best plausible method. Sometimes I do come out the shower and then use a mist spray bottle afterwards, but I wanted to just do it all in the shower today. And I'm gonna be using that same brush again just to go through with the curls. And literally it is pattern in our hair because we need to find the best method that works for us. So after I fully raked, I'm gonna put my hair up and I'm gonna be brushing it upwards like so, then brushing it downwards, that's gonna force the hair to drop naturally. And then I'm still using the same brush, then making sure that I'm doing the similar thing as Elo getting it at the back. And we're not done yet. We're now gonna be using the Denman D49 Row Styling Brush. That is a mouthful, but yes, this does work. I do like the Tangle Teaser, but I am not gonna be changing because this is what I've been using for a lot of time and it pretty much works. So if it's not broken, don't fix it. So yeah, now this brush is just gonna be putting it into a position, just aligning all the hairs together, kind of clenching them up without any um, without any breaks or gaps. So this is what is amazing about this brush. And then yeah, now I'm gonna be putting it into a bun. So now I'm gonna be using Silk Diversity Silk Scrunchy. If you wanna get 5% of this, use Akiva's Hair 5 for that discount, I'll put it up here. So yeah, just gonna be using this scrunchie, putting it up into a bun. I did use maybe a little bit too much, but it's okay. It's not completely um, damp. So yeah, just using my fingers again, just to appropriate it, making sure that the bun is neat. I think the bun is very, very neat at the moment. And then we're gonna be moving on to the next step. If you didn't notice, I'm growing the side, so it's a bit annoying. So I'm gonna have to use this. I'm gonna be using Patton's Max Hold Gel. Now this is thick. So as you can see, I did spritz the side. Then I'm gonna be applying this heavy gel onto the corners, add a bit more water. So I'll simultaneously um, do the same thing at the same time, just to make sure that the ratio is good. Apply a lot of, well, a fair amount onto the rest of my hair. Then I'll be using a brush just to brush it back and keep it into that position. So all the tools I use are very, very important as well. This is a club brush, a Deadman club brush. Now I'll be laying it down with a satin do-rag and I will be just tying up the rest of my hair. This is what I do sometimes to elongate the curls, to stretch it out. So I just use a, a few scrunchies. So I've used one at the end, then I'm gonna use a second one. Now this is the third one that I'm gonna use just to make sure that my hair is like fully stretched because I do have a lot of shrinkage as well. So yeah, keeping it into that position like so. This is a great method as well if you want to take it out to keep your hair fully stretched. So I would definitely recommend using scrunchies like this. All the scrunchies are from Silk Diversity. So happy with the results. I've tied a do-rag a special way just to leave that back out. And we're going to be just leaving it for another 10 minutes. Now, 
you're ready for the grand finale. This is also a bonnet by Silk Diversity as well. So just taking off the bonnet, taking off the do-rag, and now this is what you've been waiting for. Now this is what my waves look like using pattern. Bad bitches, bad bitches, bad bitches, bad bitches, bad bitches.